December 1st, 2.30, and we're having a teleconference meeting. <laughs> we have a quorum, and uh, Lisa's already announced the staff and guests that are here, and I, I thank everybody for participating. The agenda is very short. It's, uh, it's the media buy that we're going to discuss, but there's, there's two components to it. One, uh, we're going to discuss and vote on transferring approximately $5,000 from one of our budget uh, items to another, and then we're going to vote on the uh, media buy package that uh, Margie's going to uh, get rolling for us. Uh, regarding the media buys, there's two components. One, we're, we have a transfer we're considering of about $5,000 from one budget item to another, and then there's the, uh, the overall media buy package, which we're going to discuss and vote on. Uh, Margie, what I'd like to do is ask you if you can uh, report to us. I know David has provided us with some uh, information and research, and I know you've looked at it, and I know that... Uh, Alex and, and uh, Gracie had previously looked at it. Can you report to us on where you are and what you recommend and what you see is the best way to proceed? Before you begin, Margie, can I, I'd like to just ask if the board members can speak up. We are struggling for the public to be able to hear in the room. So I just wanted to me? let you know. Yes, we can hear you, but it wasn't very loud, so I wanted to let oh. you know. Thank you. Okay, Margie, can I can I throw uh, throw the ball to you and see if you can kind of go over what research you've done and, and what you recommend the best way to move forward is? Um, sure. As I sent to everybody on um, well uh, last week, um, the advertising options that I presented to you all were essentially identical to what we used in the primary election with the addition of wash uh, wash radio um, and I will go through the whole thing from top to bottom um, Comcast um, which we have used uh, pretty much ever since I've been here um, that is a, a combination of English and Spanish advertising uh, in the amount of $8,376. The contract um, was prepared back at the primary election for the general election as well. Um, then there's Radio America, which um, is uh, reaching out to our uh, Hispanic uh, demographic. Uh, $3,000 budgeted for that. Uh, Chinese newspaper, which was something we reached out to for the first time in the primary. Um, continuing with the $1,500 for them. Telemundo, which is Hispanic television, uh, $3,000. Washington Post, which is split between Spanish and English. Uh, we have two ads in El Tiempo Latino, one ad in the Express Newsletter, and one ad in the Living Local um, section. We also have at no cost the bus, the signs that go up in all ride-on buses in Montgomery County. Uh, $2,000 budgeted for Facebook for advertising. Um, the $2,500 that we used in the primary for WMAL radio. And then the inclusion of WASH radio for $2,500. Um, The addition of WASH came about as the result of a contact that was made to me by the advertising representative at iHeartMedia, who was the person at WTOP in the primary who told me that WTOP could not help me with my limited funds. She since moved to iHeartRadio remembered that we had a need and we had fairly low budget, um, felt that she could help us out, and with the radio stations that she represented, contacted me. And she, uh, iHeartRadio covers uh, WASH, Hot 99.5, DC 101, WMZQ, and Big 100. Um, they also reach, have a, a fairly decent Hispanic um, population, um, as well as a fairly decent um, African-American demographic. Now, 
we were not necessarily searching out uh, to reach out to any additional demographic but when iHeart contacted us and it looked like they could work with us and asked us what demographic we wanted to target so that they could identify which station of theirs would be best they identify we identified um, 20 to 40 year olds um, both men and women and we said, you know, if we could reach out to the African-American demographic, which we had not done in the past, that would be a bonus. And so um, she did her research, and of her stations, WASH was the one that had a 25% listenership of African-Americans in our age range and a 20% listening of, of Hispanics. Um, and I hope I haven't reversed those two numbers, but essentially 45% um, of the listenership for them in Montgomery County uh, is, is divided between the Hispanic and the African American demographic. And, and so I thought that that was a, a really good opportunity to start reaching out to a new demographic um, with the limited funds that we have. Um, following my original email, um, David requested that I look into WHUR and WMMJ. Interestingly enough, as you all saw in my email on August 29th, when I contacted WHUR and asked them to provide me with information on their audience and what level of advertising they could give me for $2,500, they told me that most of their listeners are in PG County in the district and they suggested that I contact WASH. Um, and they also provided me with the Nielsen information that I provided. I know David has provided others, um, but the information that I provided to you. Um, when I contacted WMMJ, I learned, according to them, they are the largest urban station in Montgomery County. However, they were very clear that they would be unable to provide me with any radio time for my budget. Um, which, of course, is similar to what WTOP told me last year uh, or in the primary. Um, and so that was where I left it with that. Now, following that email, what has not been circulated to the full board was a conversation that I had with Gracie, and it's unfortunate that she's not able to be on the line. She asked me to contact station WPRS, P is in Paul, RS, um, and I spent um, quite a bit of time because WPRS is part of um, the Radio One conglomerate. And so there was a phone number in New York, then a phone number in Baltimore, then another phone number in D.C., and then another phone number in Bethesda. And, and the long and the short of it is, um, after making all those calls and leaving at least two messages um, on Monday the 29th, um, or it might have been Tuesday. I have heard nothing back from that station at all. Um, so I don't have anything to compare um, with that. Um, and so, you know, again, um, I, I am recommending, obviously, the plan that we sent out to the board for consideration. It is a fairly wide coverage for what we can do. Um, and as you recall, kind of segueing to the second part of the reason for this meeting, in the primary election, the board moved $5,000 from one line item to another so that we could reach out to the radio advertising. Um, so we need, in order to even do what we did in the primary, we would, we would need to move money um, to accomplish that. And so... Um, we have reviewed the budget and based on past spending and that is why we proposed that recommendation um, for where the money could come from. Uh, if we moved $5,220, we would have enough in advertising. That would give us a total of $25,256 for advertising. And where are we moving that, that money from? Which line item? We would move that from computer equipment. Um, in FY16, we only spent 14000 in that line item. Um, and if we moved that 5220 we would still have a balance in that line item of $22,780 available for use. I think, I think the best... Yeah, 
I'm sorry. Excuse me, Mary Ann, you remember we talk about this equipment, computer equipment, that, that we don't need that money. Remember that? Hello? Yes, I remember that. Yeah, okay. Well, I think the best way to proceed procedurally is, is someone to make a motion to uh, to accept Margie's recommendation a second, and then we'll have discussion. I move the transfer five thousand two hundred twenty two twenty dollars from the equipment, whatever that line item is, to the media. Are you? Do you want to do? Let's do that separate. Is there a second? Okay. I second it, Jackie. Okay. Is there any discussion on the motion to move the uh, monies uh, from the, the one line item to the other? Any discussion? Yeah, I, I have discussion. Uh, Jim, if I may. Sure. Um, I, I guess my, my question is, it seems like we actually have a number of different um, good options for outreach to different areas. And I was um, wondering, since you said that Last in fiscal year sixteen, we spent fourteen thousand, and we're leaving twenty two thousand. Is a, is an option for us, and I would propose it if people are interested, is to move five thousand more. I, I think that um, um, that would um, allow us to do actual outreach to. Um, stations that do target the African American demographic and perhaps others. Um, there's other forms of outreach that don't have to target any particular demographic other than living in Montgomery County, and I, I have some additional information about that. Um, but um, it, it seems that if our goal was outreach, um, that um, uh, and if we know, as, as Nahid just pointed out, that we had heard previously that this money is unlikely to be needed, <coughs> that um, I think we may have um, <coughs> yeah, we, we, we may have a real, a real possibility of putting this money to good use. Mr. President, this is Margaret. I'd like to comment on that uh, information, uh, please. Sure. Okay, first of all, since the process is, since the beginning of the fiscal year, uh, we discovered that uh, the uh, IVR, the, the automatic vo vo phone system, uh, had the software had to be upgraded. And additionally, uh, at the end of this calendar year, all of our computers are going to have to be upgraded to the latest uh, Microsoft to uh, account to be uh, online with all of the rest of the county plus MD voters is being upgraded to increase security whatever the system is that it's running on the software licensing and the maintenance part of that is going to uh, expire and so uh, the expectation is is all of the soft all of the computers in voting systems in the voter registration systems absentee so those monies will be utilized for software upgrades coming out of that line item Mark, coming well, out of that, saying, Margaret, that we don't have the extra five thousand to transfer we have the five thousand but that's going to be it Mark, this is Jackie, but they, is the going to pay for any of that no thank you how much is the software uh, upgrade that we're talking about? I'm sorry, the computer upgrade? Well, there's probably 70 some computers in this department. So I have no idea at this time because we're doing this transition in January. Well, so what, what I hear Margaret saying is that uh, she thinks maybe we shouldn't go down and take in more money out because we might need it for this upgrade. Is that, is that fair to say, Margaret? You, there, we will be using it for the upgrades. Okay. What, what is the current status of our training budget? How much money is in it? I, I don't know, sir. We need the money for the training, David. I mean, that's very important. We always yeah. talk about lack of training. 
so we cannot okay. take money from there. The only money we could take, that was from that computer equipment, which, that was, as Margaret said, we said 5000 that's good enough. The, beyond that, we cannot transfer in our money because we need whatever money we have uh, to upgrade uh, to the other use. We, we were able to find money in training last year in order to add to outreach. Um, and so um, I, I thought it was not a, a terribly um, complicated question to know how much do we have in our training budget for the current fiscal year. Okay. Now we know. Is there an answer to that? No, I don't have an answer right now. Budget committee will meet soon. Hello? Um, Hello? Well, that, I guess this is, this is Mary Ann, can you hear me? Oh yes. yes. Loud and clear. Welcome. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've been trying to talk and I couldn't I couldn't get through. Um I, I guess I have a, a question and a and a point to make on the training. Uh we might be talking about uh, two different kinds of, of training. The money that we uh took uh for the uh primary uh, to get extra money to, to, to do additional outreach uh, of the $5,000 was uh, training that um, it, was, it was staff training. It wasn't the training for the election judges. It was staff training uh, slash and the budget that would be used, if you recall, none of us and very little staff were able to go to the uh, Mayo meeting uh, in, um, in in May uh, because we used that money. Uh, now, we would not have that money again to dip into because next year is the mandatory meeting year where we all have to go to uh, to that meeting. Uh, so I presume that's, that's the situation there because um, yes, that you was, do are that required. was the money we used. You are required to go to the biennial. Right, right, okay. Right. So, uh, right. so that was the training thing. I'm a little confused about this uh, computer money because uh, unlike Nahid, I really don't recall uh, a discussion that there there was extra computer money. Uh, and and why didn't we use it uh, during the primary? Was was there not a fund of money then? And it sounds like we didn't use it. I mean, I know we can't revisit it. We didn't use it. But uh, I, I just get concerned every time we get into this discussion. Uh, I never, <laughs> we seem to come up with different pots of money that, you know, we could maybe take nickels and dimes from to, to put into to outreach. And then after the time goes, uh, suddenly there's another pot of money there that wasn't used. And so, the surplus at the end of the year. Okay, so maybe, uh, and I don't know if this is going to help or hurt. Let me give it a shot. Um, there were some line items last year in FY16 that had small portions of money left over that were used to counterbalance line items that had gone into a deficit. We ended the year, I believe, we're still waiting for final figures, I'm supposed to get them next week, I believe we will have ended the year in a deficit, even though there were some line items that might have shown a positive, those monies were used towards other line items. But wasn't this, uh, Margie, wasn't this due to the, uh, all the new system? Yes, our, yes. 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 Yeah, well, you know, uh, you've got to take that out of the equation as far as I'm concerned. Uh, because that money, we know, we never had a handle on it and we never had money budgeted for it. So, and that was always something that the council and the executive made clear uh, we, we'd be made whole on through whatever process came about later on. Am, am I crazy? So the bottom no. line is that you want more money to be transferred beyond the $5,000. That's what you're saying, Marianne? No, I'm saying I, I would like to have 
a, a handle on what money can actually be transferred and from where. Um, I think we need to know be, before we start, you know, allocating money to this station, that station, or whatever, we need to know what is the amount that we can deal with here, and where is that money coming from, and is that a reasonable uh, assumption we can make in moving it? Well, and, and let me just add, because I agree 100%, with some options, because it could be that the board's view as to um, the priorities um, might suggest that there are certain things that we can spend, um, you know, move move money for. That's essentially what happened um, last fiscal year. Well, but Mary Ann, this is Alex. What is your view about the proposal to move five thousand from the computer equipment line item? Are you do you support that, or do you do you not support that? Uh, well, yeah, I support it. I guess my question is, is, is there additional money uh, that, that could be moved? Because, as I say, I don't recall a discussion of uh, a surplus in, in computer money. Uh, I mean, it sounds like, uh, you know, there's going to be this need uh, at the end of the year. I guess the end of the year means the end of the fiscal year, though. Is that correct, Margaret? It's after the election. Yes, it will be at, it'll be in 2017. Well, Margie, I mean, to, I mean, to answer Alex and, and Marianne, is there more than the 5,000, or is that, is that what you're recommending, the 5,000 plus transfer from the computers? That's doable? Yes, that is doable. Well, and this is Alex. I mean, maybe there are additional sources. I don't really know, and, and maybe we could benefit from that. But I, I really am getting the sense from Margie that, you know, given where we are in the calendar, that we kind of need to make a decision on this and not let the perfect be the enemy of the good. You know? Well, get the fast place and, and get this in motion, uh, you know, in time to start running them in the first week of October, then, you know, with the move, maybe we don't have perfect information. But uh, I think the proposal and recommendation is certainly a reasonable one. Uh, it may not be the very best. Uh, and, uh, you know, I know there are arguments on both sides of this, but uh, it seems to me that at least right now it would be a no-brainer to approve the transfer of the 5000 since nobody seems to dispute that, you know, we, we could afford to take that money from the computer equipment account. Whether there are other accounts, I, I don't know. So I have no problem uh, agreeing to move 5000 five uh right away and uh, start start allocating uh, our, our buy, making our purchases, but uh, I, I would do so with the caveat that we continue to uh, look at these numbers a little more closely and see what maybe can be done. For example, uh, Nahid and I, uh, we haven't had a budget meeting uh, in a while, and maybe maybe she and I need to come in and work with staff and see what additional could be found. Could I ask a question about the, um, the media buy? Um, do I understand correctly that this is going to be about encouraging people to register to vote and vote, and that this is not about election judges, or is this about election judges? Because um, when I read um, Margie's memo, I don't think it was. I, I don't think that the that the outreach in this case was about judges. The election judge outreach is handled um, primarily through um, Alberto and the election judge recruitment team. Um, through the availability of um, a lot of free advertising that he is able to to get. Um, we also use our media advisories regarding election judges. The advertising buy that we have done historically has been for placement of the three public service announcements that the Office of Public Information provides for us. They have already been created, and they deal with um, the things that are <laughs> with key things for the voting public. The voter registration and absentee deadline, um, early voting hours, locations, um, and same-day voter registration, 
and and then preparations for election day if you choose to take that last opportunity to vote and so it's those three PSAs that are what are sent out as this media buy okay thank you so so it sounds like if if the outreach is essentially for encouraging people to register to vote, know how to vote absentee and what the deadlines are, know about early voting and how to be prepared on election day, it really can make a big difference if there are groups that we do or do not reach out to in terms of who has, um, you know, easy access to voting. Um, and I think that's a really good argument for increasing our outreach um, in a number of different ways. Um, and um, not only taking one shot at it today on a phone call um, when um, it could be that with additional funding we'd be able to do much more. And I guess um, my question is, is it only radio that we're concerned about, the, the deadline having to do it now instead of on uh, our meeting on the 19th, or are there, are there other things um, that we think need, needs to be done today? Because part of what I'm concerned about is um, we could identify other areas where there's funding, but by the time we do that, it's too late, even though we really have the rest of the fiscal year to manage this money if we were to decide to spend a few thousand dollars more on outreach. Margie, what's the time frame on that? You're talking TV. Well, you're talking television placement as well as um, radio is the primary. I'm not so concerned about the Post or Facebook or the Chinese newspaper, but when you're talking, I think I think there are some African American publications. There, there, there not only are African American publications and radio stations, but there's also the ability. Um, um, I've learned that there is the ability by email to target almost any demographic in Montgomery County that we can think of, um, and. Um, and also, there's the ability to, um, to to target people on their cell phones, and I mean, I mean, and 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 many of those are. Target people on cell phones. Yes, um, you, can, you can actually. We could have cell phone ads on Montgomery County cell phone owners telling them about election day, um, and it will actually, in in some ways, it would be um, more efficient than radio because for radio. You're, by definition, you're going to get listeners who aren't your target audience because they don't live in Montgomery County. Whereas um, some of these other things, they have a much, uh, a much better way of targeting. Now, I realize for, for a number of us, this is a, a new area that we might not be ready to, to, uh, to jump into today. We might want to get more um, information about it. But I think uh, it has the potential to be a very efficient way of um, of advertising. Um, Dick, Dick, and, uh, this is, David, this is Jackie. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about um, the, the cell phone advertising and how many, uh, what's the, uh, what do you think about how many complaints we would get vis a vis good we would do? Um, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I don't know that it's possible to know the answer to that. I think that there'll be some people who will, um, you know, view view ads about the election where the because our, our our ad is not vote for me. Our ad is here's how to make sure that you can vote. Right. Um, I don't. So, but is there any? You don't know if there's any research been done on pe how the re people how people receive. Um, I, I I do not. Um, what I, I don't think what, what, really like that. They what, what, done not like that. What, what I what I did here was was that um, for the for email advertising they actually guarantee that ten percent of the people that you email will um, open to see your email message. Right. The email be, I have, yeah. the email I've used I understand email. Right. The, right. the, the, the cell phone uh, I have gotten less good uh, right. vibes about. Well, well, no, but understand I'm not talking about calling people on their cell phones. What we're talking about is when they go online on their smartphone and they're on the internet and ads appear on the internet. That's my understanding. So, so I'm definitely not talking about robocalling people on their cell phones. Uh, cause I, I have no doubt, 
I personally would object to that, and I, ima I imagine most people would. Um, but what I'm talking about is, you know, you're, you're you know, people, you, you know, people are, are when they when they when they look online, um, and, and, and it may be that before we did something like that, we'd want to have an expert come and talk to us, and I think that that's that's certainly possible. It might even be exactly. possible. Yes. That would be a good idea because I uh, some of mine, which is some hearsay, but from ad people, is uh, right. Not necessary that that's a positive thing to do. You know? Well, if 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 you would like, I could certainly um, I could ask the person I spoke with if they can come to our meeting in September. Well, that's um, up to Jim. That's you know, up to Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, I, I, yeah. well, I, I think I think Marianne makes a lot of sense. So these these are all topics to look at in the future. But you know, we should get the buy started that that Margie has in the can now, and we can always supplement. I agree. With come that. up with extra money, but. You know, I think we should get the ball rolling on what Margie has ready to go now. We can always add if we come up with extra money and, and different media outlets. Uh, you know, so, so, so are, 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 are we... Hey, wait a minute. Margie was talking, telling us when is the deadline. I didn't hear anything from Margie telling us when the deadline is. Margie. Thank you, Nahid. Um, and I will be honest with you, there is no hard and fast deadline that I am aware of. What I will tell you all is that in talking to several of these organizations, I have learned very clearly that the candidates are already buying up the time. Once the time is bought and they have more money to spend, there is none left for us. So I can't say that we must do it before September 19th or we have to do it before October 1st. What I can tell you is that the later we wait in the process, the more likely we are to not be able to purchase anything. The other thing I would like to say in listening to you, to you all speak, I just want to remind you when it comes to identifying additional funds for advertising that we reached out to the Office of Management and Budget, the County Executive, and the County Council. And we told them that we needed significantly more funding for advertising. And they did not give us what we asked for. They, in fact, gave us additional personnel to help with outreach, <coughs> but they provided no additional money for the actual cost of advertising. And so while we are confident that we, can that we have identified a location where we can move funds um, similar to the amount that we moved in the primary, it is unlikely that we would be able to find a lot more money in the budget at this time um, to, to go any further than that. Um, and, and thirdly, I would just say, David, if, if you have any research, all of these things that you're mentioning, you know, if you would send them to me, then I'll certainly look I, into them and, and I, I you know, be, do, that. do that. But, you know, we are operating on a limited budget, and, and we're right. trying to do the best that we can, and we're trying to reach out uh, certainly to our, to our mandated requirement and trying to reach out to others as well. All right. Uh, I, I think right now we should, we should take a vote on the transfer of the monies available now. I mean, if we come up with more money in the future, great. But let's lock in the transfer now and, and move forward with what's on the table at the moment. Okay, good idea. Go ahead. The motion is What's the exact under? amount of, for the motion? $5,220. Okay. That was my motion. Okay. Would you repeat that, Naive? Take a vote. Take a vote. Oh, we already have the motion. Go ahead. And there was a second? Oh, yes, Jackie seconded. Yeah. All right. All those in favor of transferring the monies that uh, Margie just mentioned uh, from the computer line item to the uh, outreach, say aye. Please identify uh, yourself uh, with the aye. Uh, we're going to, for purposes of the phone, we're going to do this by name. So, right. Lisa. Sure, roll call. Okay. Aye. So, we have Jim. Yes. Nahid. Yes. Alex. Yes. Marianne. Yes. Uh, David? Yes. Jackie? Yes. Okay. okay, good. So that's unanimous. All right, the second, the second is uh, we need a motion to approve 
the uh, media buys that Margie has recommended and a second, and then we can open up that for discussion. So is there a motion I'm, to it? I move. This is Jackie. I make that motion. Okay. Okay. I approve Margie's media buy. Second. Second. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Discussion. Who's seconded? Um, Nahid, we need to have if, it for the if motion. No one else has discussion. I do. Just margin media by. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah. Um, no one I'm very concerned it. about the um, the having the balance in this media buy. Um, we we have outreach to a, a number of different groups, and I think that um, we've done uh, a good job of different um, forms of um, of advertising. Um, and we've actually hit a number of different groups, but we do have a major hole in that we are not reaching out to African Americans. Um, and and um, in my opinion, um, reaching out to a radio station that barely has the um, the same number of uh, African Americans as we have percentage as we have in the whole county is not an outreach to that group. Um, and according to the Nielsen information that I was given, it's not even the radio station, the iHeart station, that has the most uh, Montgomery County African-American listeners. Um, I think we could do a, a, a lot better and have a, a lot more balance in our, um, in our outreach if we were to substitute um, WPGC for WASH, um, which um, reaches... Um, that would be the one station that I, I have some idea of what their cost is, um, but there may be others. Um, and, um, and, and I think that um, if we fail to do that, we have to explain why it is that we are um, reaching out on talk radio for conservatives, um, reaching out for Hispanic and Chinese, um, and not reaching out for African Americans who are 19 percent of Montgomery County's population, a very significant percentage. How much is WPGC? You said you have the number. Uh, it, it is it is roughly two hundred dollars per spot, um, and um, it depends on how many spots, time of day, what our message is, et cetera. But um, um, but my understanding is is that. Um, we would, we would we would be uh, and now um, we 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 would be reaching many more African Americans as I pointed out in my you know, in my email already, last night. David, okay, you already know you already said that two hundred spots. How many spots do we have to buy? Because they always have a minimum. We um, have to buy. You cannot just buy one. I I, I I I I am not a salesman for them, but uh, I do have one have I can refer to. us to. My understanding is is that for twenty five hundred dollars. Um, you know, we, we, we could get, you know, a significant number of, um, um, you, you know, roughly in the, you know, 12 to 13 range. Um, this would be during, you know, um, Monday to Friday kind of territory. Um, they um, would reach, in, a, in an average week, 54,000 um, African Americans in Montgomery County compared to 21,000 from WASH. You have the data, you have the statistic, it shows they reach that many people? Yes, yes, that was, what, that, 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 was, that was what I emailed you last night. Is um, that daytime, daytime ads? Um, that is, rush hour ads I, I, I believe it's a combination. I do not know. In terms of the price, the price is very much of an average. The, the price would be, we would have, we would have some, some flexibility in that, but then the price obviously varies for that. Um, but, but I think that it would... Um, um, it, it is definitely not in the category of a WMMJ where, um, or WTOP, um, which also has, by the way, you know, a very significant African American uh, listenership, but they're out of our price range. I mean, they basically say there's nothing they can do for $2,500. Um, the, 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 the sense that I got from, um, from WPGC um, uh, was that, um, was that for a few thousand dollars? Now they also uh, C CBS owns WPGC, and they also commented about you know they do they do the digital stuff as well, um, and certainly they could um, they could come speak with us and tell us about what the you know what the options are, but they definitely said that um, you know they could um, 
you know, that, that, yeah. that you can do a $2,500 campaign. Um, and that is, you know, that is not um, an unusual thing for them to do. Margie, how much do we have allocated for WSA, you know, for WASH? WASH, we have... dollars, uh, Jim. I'm sorry? 20 The proposal is $2,500. Um, so what David's saying is we can reach more African Americans by taking that 2500 and putting it on WPGC. Now, now, Jim, I'm also saying that the other possibility is is to find $2,500 somewhere else in our budget, and it sounds like we have to do it by the end of the fiscal year. So, so um, you, you know, I, I, I'm not suggesting that, that there's no benefit to advertising with WASH. I'm just suggesting that I think that this is a demographic that we've been missing and that, you know, we should have, you know, that it's not one that we should miss. Well, let me ask you to say, does, 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 the board, does, the, does the board agree with all of the other outlets that Margie has recommended and WASH is the only one that uh, we want to look at? Um, I personally, if we are not going to reach out to the African-American demographic, would want to look at WMAL. No, no, I'm, I'm not... I'm not I'm, yeah, what I meant is, 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 the, is the radio station the only outlet that we may want to take a closer look at, and, and does the right. board accept all the other outlets? Right. I, I, think, I think I'm answering your question, Jim, although maybe I'm not understanding your question. You're asking about the other radio outlets or the other media no, no, the outlets? outlets? Yeah, everything no, 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 other than one. Well, right. Well, right. And what I'm, when, what I'm saying is, is that I would add to the list of ones to consider um, w, WMAL. We have uh, not that that's not to add, add that one to consider. Yes, WMAL is on the list. No, no. What I'm saying is considering. I'm I'm talking about considering whether we should continue with that particular um, advertisement. That's what that, that's what I'm suggesting. I'm saying that that rather than just saying it's Wash or WPGC, um, I, I I would say that WMAL should also be you know part of that conversation. Well, Jim, this is Alex. Let, let me also say this in response to what David has said, is that I, I think it, it almost seems like he's positing a, a choice that either we go with WPGC or we're not reaching out to African Americans. Now, I realize there's a difference, but you also have to consider, uh, you know, the question is do we want to reach the maximum number of African Americans at the expense of losing everyone else that we get through the WASH by? There's a whole cross-section of other people that we're trying to reach out to as part of our general demographic of reaching out to people of a certain age and gender and what have you, is it, is it worth it to get the higher African-American reach when you may be losing a lot of other demographics because apart from the African-American reach, the other demographics may drop dramatically and, uh, and you're going to miss those, those folks altogether. Alex, that is, exa that is exactly why I was uh, asking about um, spending more money um, and also asking about considering what to do with the other media outlets, because um, I agree with you that, especially for those media outlets where we can do a general reach out to everybody, uh, uh, you know, since we're talking about encouraging people to vote and making it possible for them to know exactly how to vote, we're not even talking about judges, I don't know that we have um, a reason to, to, to target a political party, for example. But I do think that, you know, the difference between... Um, you know, uh, a general. Not all of our media outlets are are what you might call general circulation um, outreach. We are doing targeted outreach to a number to a number of different groups, um, and um, part of why I'm suggesting that we not just look at WASH versus um, WPGC is because um, I agree with you that you know we'd be better off not um, not losing on either one. To me, it's very hard to imagine that there isn't $2,500 in the entire Board of Elections budget that, can, uh, you know, that, that can't be used to support this and that we can't find it in the next 10 months. Um, let, let, let me, David, let, let me just interrupt. If, if what I'm hearing you say, that we take things as they are that in, in the way Margie has suggested it now, transfer the money that we just voted on, and in addition to that, that we look for the kinds of things you're talking about. No, um, what I'm suggesting is is that uh, because my, my only concern with what you said, Jackie, is the look for part, which does not sound like we're agreeing to do it. 
if we're not agreeing to do it, in other words, I'm saying look for the funding. We have lots of time to find $2,500 in funding. What we don't have is lots of time to place ads for radio stations for the reasons that Margie said. Um, but um, the budget has to be in balance at the, you know, arguably at the end of June, and a lot of times, you know, we don't know that for, you know, long after that. Um, also, we also get another opportunity uh, you know, uh, Margie mentioned the fact that, you know, we, we were unsuccessful in getting outreach funding from, you know, from other parts of government. We have an opportunity also to go to them and say, hey, wouldn't you like to help us with this? And because the one thing that our uh, county council has been very enthusiastic about has been our outreach efforts. And I have no doubt that they'd be enthusiastic about this. Um, but but, but I, I'm not advocating that, you know, I, I personally um, would, would like to see us just add to the budget to do this rather than cutting something else. But if we're not willing to, to, to do that, I'm not going to vote for the current proposal as it exists because I personally think that um, I would spend the money differently. Well, would the well, board consider, it, it, would the it, board it, consider it, approving everything but the wash by, keep the wash by, on hold, but approve all of the other outlets Margie recommends. I would, I would also, I would also want to put the WMAL by on hold as well. Hi, I have a question. Uh, hello, this is Marianne. Uh, I have a question. Um, it's overall five thousand dollars that we're talking about, of which twenty five hundred is is what's being hotly debated at the moment. So five thousand. This is five thousand in the primary. This is the same five thousand, right? It's from a different pool of money, but it's the five thousand that we added to our uh, outreach budget uh, in the primary, where we took that money out of the uh, staff and and uh, board training. Is that correct? Essentially, that is correct. Okay, so it's the same five thousand dollars. Uh, why? Why wasn't this discussion? This, uh, what we're talking about now wasn't part of the discussion back then when we allocated that five thousand. Uh, is there something we've taken off the table uh, from the five thousand in the primary to uh, free up twenty five hundred? There is nothing that has come off the table. There have been some minor changes to a couple of items. I reduced Radio America by $116. I reduced Telemundo by $500. I reduced the Washington Post by $1,000. And I reduced Facebook by a thousand dollars for the recommended proposal that you have in front of you. Nothing has officially been done, but it was a total of uh, twenty-six sixteen that was reduced is recommended to be reduced. Um, Two thousand of that. Um, from the English media and 616 from the Hispanic media and Gracie and I had a discussion about that it is unfortunate that she's not able to be on the line um, but that is that is where the, the the change has come from to accommodate the 2500 I look at that I look at that thing because uh, uh, yeah, my question was going to be, and, and Gracie agreed to this. I mean, that's a, that's a chunk of money coming out of the Hispanic uh, outreach that we fought very hard to, uh, you know, increase over, over the years. Yes, but the addition of reaching out to um, the Hispanic portion of the listenership on WASH was going to add to the overall Hispanic listenership. Uh -huh. so, because, uh huh. Because if so you that's, 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 in order in, in order to analyze that, you really have to look at the number of Hispanic viewers for different media outlets. Because the twenty percent of Wash um, 
as I understand it, you can't just multiply and say that you've that, that you've hit everybody. Not to mention that I believe that Montgomery County is approximately um, nineteen or twenty percent Hispanic, um, which means that we're doing no better than the county as a whole. Which means it's not really targeted to the group. It, well, it, no, it, I, it, I don't agree with that, David. That it's not targeted to the group. Why would you say that? Because it's not. Uh, you saying it has to be mathematically greater than the percentage share of the population in order to be effectively targeting the group? I'm, I'm, I'm saying that if the goal is to get the word out in specific communities, and as I understand it, part of the goal is, um, you know, that people talk to their friends and that you, it spreads within communities. I'm saying that it's a very inefficient way to... Um, you know, to, to spread the word in the Hispanic community, you're going to do much better in, in the media that we are cutting than, than, than with WASH. Um, WASH is going to get to a lot of people in Montgomery County, there's no question. Um, but the vast majority of them are, are, are not going to be in, in, any of these, in any of these particular groups. Part of the goal of our outreach is to give outreach to people who actually um, need the assistance to know um, what the instructions are, and our Hispanic um, um, citizens are particularly in that category. Because but we, do have, we do have enough for Spanish, though. We have Telemundo, we have Radio One, we have others. Um, Radio One is not uh, is not Hispanic, but, but what uh, other what other Spanish we have? We, I'm no, sure we do have well, we, no, we, I, I'm not suggesting that we don't have anything for Hispanics, but I am agreeing with Marianne that cutting it. Um, it, 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 I didn't realize that we were cutting it, um, and and uh, and I find that to be a great concern because even more than than most of the categories that that we are looking at, uh, um, I mean, part of the goal of that advertising is to advertise to people who who's, who's uh, who, who understand Spanish better than they understand English. Um, th- in, Maybe no, only they understand. five hundred dollars from Telemundo, only five hundred dollars. That's well, it. That's the only one we have to consider that we don't really know uh, or haven't uh, analyzed in this by what percentage of Hispanic speakers in Montgomery County actually are of limited English proficiency. That's the goal of the outreach, is to target those who don't speak or understand English sufficiently to know. But many of them do. So, you know, that has to be factored in as well. That's yes. that's that's true. Well, and let me let me just add this. I, I think that you know we're I think we're getting to the point where we're unable to make a decision. And if we start peeling these off one by one, then it's going to open up the whole thing to the argument. And I guess we can do that, but the risk we run is that we're just not going to have any PSA. Um, so I mean, you know, it may not be ideal, but I think it's the best we have under the circumstances with the information that we have. Um, and, yeah, if we can find more money, I don't think we have 10 months. We have a lot less than that because we've got to find the money in time to, you know, buy something else if we're going to try to do some additional outreach. I, I'm not sure that's true. I mean, if, if we were to... Um if we were to add twenty five hundred dollars to this outreach plan to to add another radio station, um, aren't you able to um, to find money to to pay for it and then move move funds later? Well, but you're suggesting that we take the chance that we spend more money that hasn't been allocated without knowing now where it's going to come from or if we can find it. How big is our budget? I mean, I'm talking about twenty five hundred dollars. We are. Margaret, how big is our total, or Margie, how big is our total budget? Uh, it's six million and something, David. Un- unfortunately, I did not bring budget figures in for this no, meeting. No, no, so. that, that, that's okay. That's close enough. So we're going to, f- we, we have to find $2,500 within a $6 million budget. I'm pretty sure. Well, in addition, we always have, uh, um, you know, a great deal more than that that we're giving back to the county. We can find $2,500. I have no doubt about that. No, I agree, but that, that's why I'm saying I'd like to move forward with our package today and then... Uh, Jim, Jim this is Jackie. Again. May I add to that, that could we move ahead with the package as it is today and ask Nahid and Mary Ann to meet as soon as possible and with Margie, uh, with Margie and find the money so that we could, in addition, make, make the, uh, 
the other bye. Jim, 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 may I make, may I make, Jim, yeah, may I make a motion, please? Yeah, uh, the motion's on the floor, Dave. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm making a motion to amend it. Okay, um, go ahead. I, I, my, my, I, I, would, I would move that we add twenty five hundred dollars to the media outreach plan for advertising on WPGC, and that we ask the budget committee to help identify the source for that and report to us at the September nineteenth meeting, but not wait for that in order to spend to start to start implementing this plan. Okay, how about does that, does that amendment include it. approving the package that's before us? Excuse me, hold on, I'm sorry. Jim. Jim, hold on. How about if you do not find the $2,500 extra, then what happens? Um, I have confidence. I have confidence that you and Marianne can find $2,500. You have found much more than that. Um, but I have, a, I have a problem with that, with the motion. And that is that you're, uh, you're, you're going with the, the, the plan that was already presented, and then you're adding 2500 that is all going to WPGC. Uh, I, I have a problem that Telemundo has been cut by $500. Well, we, we also have we, we also already have twenty five hundred dollars going to WMAL as well. So I mean, we have, you know, um, and and I mean, we have a bunch of different places. Are you suggesting, Marianne, that you want me to add more I, money? I want the money to uh, unless Tracy has some reason why Telemundo can take a hit like that. Telemundo, as I have understood the discussion over the years with Tracy uh, when we fought to get money for that, is that. And that is a, a, a station that is universally watched in the Spanish community, uh, in the Hispanic community, over uh, other stations. I mean, Mar Marianne, it, if, 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 I make, if I make my motion for three thousand dollars with five hundred for Telemundo, would you second it? No, I think it would be better to uh, to make your motion for the twenty five hundred, of which five hundred will go back to Telemundo in two thousand to WPGC. Okay, fine by me. And, and, we but, only and at the same time accepting the existing package. That would be accepting the existing package and adding that. With, 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 well, accepting the existing package with the exception of. Adding two thousand dollars for WPGC and five hundred extra dollars back to Telemundo. No, no, no. PGC was extra. We, that's not part of the package which no, was presented. No, no, I, 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 yes, exactly. It's two, it's twenty five hundred dollars above what's in the package now, with two thousand of that going to WPGC and five hundred of it going to Telemundo. And, we can, and, and approving the existing package, Margie recommends. Well, yeah. well, with that, with that change, yeah, with that, I mean, with, 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 with that, unless I know where the money is coming yeah, from, I think we're going out on a plane here. We're sending a bad president to that. But. Who was the maker? Right. We're, we're going out on a plank for two weeks. I mean, don't, don't. When do we meet? I mean, we, I, I suggested that the budget committee would meet between now and the nineteenth, and and if, if necessary, you know, we can. We already heard that some of our advertising doesn't even have to be placed before our, our September meeting. So some of that could even wait until they identify the money. Um, Mary Ann and Nahid have, have done a good job of identifying um, uh, budget uh, information in the past. Um, and I have every belief that they could come up with, with $2,500. Is it legal to give them the tell to say in this, that we give them the authority, if they find the money, to approve it without us um, having to meet again? Can we do that so that it can be ordered? Um, I, 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 Let, did, I'd then, like uh, the president to comment on yeah, that. I, mean, I, I don't know well, Kevin's on the line, but I well, I mean, if you can do that, but I guess what I'm, what I'm hearing David say is that his, his vote is going to depend on whether it's actually going to the money is going to be allocated. Am I well, that's okay. You, 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 are, you, you are understanding me correctly. All right. Well, that's David's choice. That's okay. Right. You can make a different choice. That is, that is, that is definitely that's true. My, my, my own view is, is that our budget committee can find $2,500 between now and September 19th. Jackie is the mayor. Can you bring your checkbook, please? 
Jackie, <laughs> Jackie is the maker of the motion. Jackie, do you accept David's motion? Amendment. Amendment. Do you need a second? In, in, a in, in parliamentary procedure, that is not a requirement. Well, we need at the very well, least. Well, at least we need a second to the amendment. I'll second. Who was that? I'm sorry, Marianne. Okay. Uh, let's, who's going to verbalize exactly what's on the table for a vote now? I, I, I would I would be happy to. Um, I'm moving to amend Margie's pr uh, proposed package to add twenty five hundred dollars to the Jackie's total. No, no. Two thousand of which would be spent on advertising on WPGC, and five hundred of which would be spent on advertising on Telemundo. But you're, in other words, you're accepting all of the existing package plus with well. First, no, no, Walsh uh, is out of Walsh is out. W, no, no, Walsh is not out. No, uh, that's, not, that's not. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe I can interject here. I think I understand what you're saying. David is proposing that the existing package be accepted. An additional $2,500 be added to the 5000 whatever, which has already been, you all already voted on. And that. Uh, it'd be a split of 2,000 to one radio station and 500 going back to Telemundo. Is that your motion? Your yes, motion and, and, and the budget committee would be asked to report to us at our September meeting on how to come up with the $2,500. Is there a second? I second it. Is. Okay, is there any further discussion? Second was Marianne. Is everybody clear on the vote? Okay. Are, are, are there two votes here or one vote? Is no, there a vote one on vote. David's and then a vote on mine. I, 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 I believe that the... Then there has to be a vote on the amendment first and then on the underlying motion. There right. I, 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 I agree with Alex. Yes. A, a, mo a, mo a vote now on David's motion, amended motion. No, 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 it's on David's amendment. It, it is, David's it, amendment. It, 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 is, it is on the amendment to change the proposal right. to add the 2500 as we discussed. Right. Is that and, 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 and then, including, including Wash. <laughs> Jim, the way that that would happen is, is that you either add the 2500 or you don't, and then we vote on the proposal that's left, which will either be amended or won't be, but there will be a separate Jim, vote on that. My goal is I, I want to make sure Margie can get the ball rolling on his five. Understood. Okay, I, I, I understood. I, I, think, I think that will happen. All right. Can we make take a vote on the amendment? Okay. Jim? Yes. What's your vote? Yes. Oh, sorry. Um, my only concern, sorry that my only concern is if we do not find money, I mean, I'm not saying we, we will or we will not, if we do not have money, then what we will do? That's now, he, you, 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 you're too humble. You, okay. You're, you're, you're going to find it. Nahid, would you like to take a vote? Uh, yes. Alex? No. Marianne? Yes. David? Yes. Jackie? I don't think I get a vote, but no. So this passed three to one. Okay. Is, is there any other business? We, we have, have the motion. No, so now we have to vote on the motion. So now we have to vote on the motion. Right. As amended. Can I, can I add another motion? If the subcommittee, I mean, treasurer subcommittee cannot find the money. So that 2500 is off the table. Can I do that, Kevin? Mm -hmm. well, the, the amendment's already passed. You know, you please, don't worry about it. Okay. You know what, what I mean, my Mary Ann? You can go and see. Sometimes there's no money there. The $6 million budget. There's always money there. All right, so we'll take a vote on the uh, motion. Are we ready? Let's, let's repeat the motion, somebody. And we accept Margie's That's package. Margie's package plus the 2500 Okay. Okay, so Jim? Yeah. Yes. Nahid? Yes. Alex? Yes. Marianne? Yes. 
David? Yes. Jackie? Sure. So that passed unanimously. Good, good. I wasn't as strong as Jackie. I really appreciate everybody taking the time for this. And Margie, you know, we're anxious for you to get started. I'll do my best. I know that. Good Mar job, Margie. I'll, I'll, Margie, I will send you all the information I have. Thank you so much. All right, do we have a, I hope everybody has a wonderful long, uh, Hold on, we have, yes. we have need a motion I to close the meeting. I move, we have move, give, a move, we adjourn the meeting. Second, is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Meeting adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Okay, thank you.